Dave, just a question about the, the games that you have left here. Um, I know we were asking you before about potentially resting guys and such. Um, do, do you see any reason or have any intention of, of having any regulars out of the lineup over the next, you know, between now and the end of the season? Uh, we'll see how it goes game by game, but uh, our group is more focused on making sure our game is in order and pushing forward, uh, but we'll uh, monitor things as, uh, as the week goes on. Yeah, I guess maybe a balance there between wanting to have the team hitting on all cylinders, but also making sure all bumps and, and bruises are completely healed. Like, yeah. does it take a player to be banged up to justify resting them or being able to take them out of the lineup, or, or do you do it just simply for rest reasons? Uh, I would, it would, uh, my gut feeling right now would be, it would be, we're not going to put anybody in a vulnerable position because of injury, but, uh, but like I say, we'll just go game by game and see how it goes. Mark Specter, Sportsnet. A couple things, Dave. Morning. Morning. Um, the Montreal Canadiens are sort of the one northern team that uh, had some, you know, you guys haven't quite cracked that nut. They've been tough on you. you. They make you play a different game, and they challenge your team maybe differently than the other teams have. Are these two games important for the Oilers to sort of be able to look themselves in the mirror come Thursday and say, okay, we figured this team out, we can – we can score some goals on them. We can win. We can play our game against them. Are these games mean something in that sense mentally? Well, they mean something to our team in how we play. Like that's we understand we're playing Montreal, but our, we're more focused on what we have to do to make our game successful. So you recognize your opponent and how they're going to play, and you. you but we got to concentrate on what we got to do to win, and uh, that's what we've done all year. We're not going to change that for the last three three games of the year. Uh, and it's uh, Mike Smith has announced a few minutes ago as the Edmonton Oilers nominee for the Masters and Trophy this year. Yeah. Uh, you know, perseverance and hanging in there and having a hell of a season at this age. Uh, just, I guess, some thoughts on, you know, a guy that's matching his career numbers at age 39. Yeah, excellent choice. Excellent choice. He's, uh, um, you know, he's a epitome of a, of a guy that, puts the work in and, and is committed to being a good player. And he, I've seen him do it since he was a rookie, and he's still doing it at 39. So credit to him. And uh, he's come in very motivated and played very well for us and been a big part of our team this year. So that's a great choice. Jason Greger, TSN 1260. Dave, can you update us on uh, the health of Chris Russell? Or do you think he's going to be ready for playoffs? Uh, he's skating at home. Him and Casting are both skating at home. So... Uh, uh, that's an unknown still. He's, uh, I, we don't, I don't anticipate him playing uh, before the end of the regular season, but some of uh, whether he's ready for the playoffs might, might be dictated by when we start the playoffs. We don't know that yet. Okay. And, you know, you look at, at some of your, your team, you obviously want every guy going, moving in. You've, you've got a few of your top six guys who at five on five kind of snake bit a little bit. Cahoon, mm -hmm. Yamamoto, Nugent Hopkins, the three of them yeah. have only combined for like one point and five assists here in the, in the last few months playing with the league's top scores. How important is it to get those guys going at even strength? Well, you have to get everybody going like we're talking about, but there's guys that, that know they can uh, produce a little more. Those guys are all, all in that boat, but we're trying to, uh, you know, we need we need that uh, that balance throughout our lineup. That being said, all three of those guys have played played well. And you just haven't capitalized on some chances in that. So, um, you know, hopefully those chances you start to uh, get some results from those chances, and then uh, then the outlook looks uh, a little better. But they, you know, when you watch their game away from the puck, I mean, how, how they fit into the structure, how we're playing is all strong, but uh, that being said, the results of the helping out on the score sheet uh, would certainly help our group uh, to be more balanced. Josh Clipperton, Canadian Press. Hey Dave, just a little bit bigger picture question here. There was some relaxation of the COVID uh, protocols for players that have been, or teams that have been fully vaccinated. That's obviously not not the case up here in Canada. I'm just wondering what you think about what's going to be kind of a two-tiered playoff system where there's certain rules for certain teams in terms of gathering, and then up here in Canada it's going to be totally different. Or are you just happy that some people are getting back to normal? Well, it is what it is. You have to just – it's it's the way the world is right now. There's different things. I mean, you look at a lot of parts of the U.S. are wide open, and, and uh, you know, Canada is uh, is still closed down. So you just have to deal with where you're at. 
um, you know, hopefully as we go along here, as, uh, um, you know, the, the regulations of who gets vac vaccinated in Canada continues to go down, that teams can can uh, catch up on that, but time will tell. Thank you. Terry Jones, Post Media. Uh, Dave, in a way, you guys have a chance to pick your playoff opponent here, but... Uh... What I'm, what I'm more interested in than that is, uh, do you, have you been given any indication uh, by the NHL, and I know there's one scenario that could make this last for days after your last game, but uh, is your expectation that you could be opening the playoffs a week tonight? Uh, I haven't had any, any update on any dates yet. We're, uh, you know, we're, we're looking as far as even Saturday. I don't think there's been a, a, a game time set for Saturday, so we're... Uh, we're in the dark as far as that goes. We know it, you know, most likely be middle of the week next week sometime. So we'll just have to, uh, you know, we're, we're concentrating on these last three games. We want to make sure that we're prepared no matter when we start. So as far as uh, planning purposes and days in between after the after the last game, it's uh, it's still up in the air. Thank you. Last question, Guillaume LaFrancois, La Presse. Um, hi, Dave. I know you touched a bit on the, the rest uh, issue earlier. I, I just want to know regarding specifically Connor and Leon, are, are you looking maybe in those three games to uh, maybe even out a little bit, a little bit more the, the, the minutes, the time on ice, or are you still looking to play them uh, 20 minutes or so? Well, we'll see how the game goes. They, you know, the game dictates how, uh, how that goes. They want to keep playing. They want to keep playing well, and that's what we'll uh, – that will be our goal for the last three games. Thank you.